<laughs> hey, what's happening? That's it. Danny and I, we're here to talk, and we're talking this time about uh, one of the comments. One of, I forget the person's name, and they are actually a faithful viewer. You watch my channel, and I appreciate it. And they said, talk about, you know, what's going on with the black, the, I really want to go and make sure I have the comment before I quote it. That is fair. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want to. That is absolutely, especially where we about to go. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea where we're heading. But thank you all for watching. <laughs> Break it on down. Break it on. You are supposed to be looking for the comment while I'm doing all this. <laughs> I was trying to understand. How is the visual entertainment while you do the shit behind the curtains? I was trying to understand. Man. Okay, but I got it. It's probably a little deep, but I would like to. And this is from God's Child, six hundred seventy-one. First, she said, I really enjoyed this. Looking forward to seeing more. This is the more. Anyway, she said, it's probably a little deep, but I would like to know what you feel about the movement that's going on in the black community. Is it here to stay or is it just a moment? <laughs> and so. I don't think it's ever left. You don't think it's ever left? Mm -mm. I think the media leaves. The media leaves. It comes back. <clears throat> but the movement doesn't. What movement? I guess with Gasha, I wish you yeah. could talk to you about this, but I'm assuming. And that is the Black Lives Matter. Right. And that's calling it, that's what the movement is called because that's, that's you know, that's what picked up. <laughs> right? I'm, I'm guessing. That's, I'm so assuming, that's where we, yeah, that's, that's where that's, we're going. So, um, Black Lives Matter, you know, with Eric Garner, Trayvon Martin, and the, you know, just many of those men at the time. That, Tim Rice. There have been several. And that's, I think, what's prompted the movement of Black Lives Matter because it's been consistently like it's happened one I remember I read a comment when someone said I bet Eric Garner thought when he saw Trayvon Martin case damn that could have been me and it was him you know I don't take for granted to um I know that you're calling someone else yeah. but I don't, I don't attach that sentiment to it because that just makes it so Disney of the whole okay, what's yeah. going on. Um, not to not to lessen what it says, but yeah. it's like, <clears throat> well, you don't know that. You might not even have damn TV. You might, I mean, I don't have a TV, you know? Yeah. So, not that you could not have heard about Trayvon Martin, yeah. honestly. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, yeah. What I think about the movement, do I think it's here to stay? I think the the divide that I'm seeing and hearing right now is mostly how to do it. Um, Cause you got the old heads that are like, you know, they, that that had a, a single, had a leader, had- Like Martin Luther King. Martin, all the ills, Martin Malcolm and, uh, and, and uh, what's his name? Um, uh, oh my God. Shot down in his own damn Megger, Megger Evans. Okay, Megger. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and and they're just the the most well known ones. You know, they right. were just the faces they were just of the those. Faces. Yeah, but there were several. But how it worked was you had a leader, and mm -hmm. then you had you know the leaders folks, and then and then it, it went down from there. They had something to follow, someone that had a strong voice. But the thing about now is that, and the great thing about history we can't say work for that is these young folks ain't trying to get shot yeah because <laughs> the one thing that is reiterated every year is that when we celebrate the deaths harder than we celebrate their births is that they ain't here with y'all now yeah you know <laughs> and and that's that's one thing which i think is also a part of that system too it's like you, you sure you want to try this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know and so that's what they know, and that is what worked because obviously a lot of progress was made doing that, right? Mm -hmm. We don't know so clearly. I think this is the first time we've been shown so clearly what we're fighting against the way that yeah. they were back then. Mm -hmm. So the movement is different. The movement has never stopped. Yeah. There are people out there that are working on the ground level. Um, the movement has never stopped. The movement's never stopped, man. 
I'm thinking, let me insert this. Malcolm X says something like, racism is the new Cadillac. It, it doesn't go away, but it comes into like new Cadillacs. Like it's a new model. Like Cadillacs have new models every year. That's how racism is. It's, per, it's not going to be perceived the same way it initially came. Initially, it was seemingly more violent, you know, like tear gas and stuff. While that still happens occasionally, it doesn't, it's not to that extreme. So now it's more, it's subtle. It's, I would say now, like the way people are racist. It's not as... Well, I mean, it's a system. Yeah. It is a, it's something that was constructed yeah. to, to serve a purpose. So mm -hmm. it's like a, it's like, it's like your, your Mac update or a computer update. It's wow. like, okay. So we, we see, we got some new material <laughs> out here. We got some new minds. We got some new shit. All no, right. So me. let's yeah. upgrade. And, Isn't that uh, and handle all these things just to just to kind of make sure we, we you know we just stay on top of stuff no problem just a little sweep through <laughs> and y'all going about your business and um and, and, I, and no but wait 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 stay right there that's just, <laughs> like, like stay right here. let's stay here for a second okay that's deep like if it's a system the fact that it upgrades. I mean, we don't look like that's what a system is. So it's not just like there was a time. I remember Chris Rock said that. We look at black people in the community now and we say there was a time we used to lynch them. Like, oh, we used to lynch black people. Like, we look at it like a thing that people used to do. Like, oh, well, we, people don't, you know, you, it's not like there's segregation. It's not like you know, we look at it like, oh, it's not like, but it's, it's a system. Like you mm -hmm. said, it's, it's, it's not just how you act. It's how you talk. It's how you. It's all of it, you know. And it's just. It's just now that they. It, the 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 gatekeepers, um. Know that okay, physical. Mm -hmm. Segregation or oppression isn't working anymore. Yeah. <laughs> okay, because there are a strong physical, physically strong people. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> what don't they know? The mind. So instead of making it okay, you can't physically go to this place. Yeah. It's we're not even going to let you know, give you the tools to know that this place exists, and we can do that yeah. because physically, we know you live here. We know you mm. do this. Yeah. We it's all we got your application. We know. It, I mean, you know, it's it's we can take your taxes. It's Someone, there is a big group of people that benefits from the, it constantly going. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I forgot again. <laughs> well, you're saying how it's uh, we're, we're speaking of the system. Oh, so yeah, they take the mind. Take it's the like, mind. uh, oh, ooh, I used to do a Denzel moment. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's not really his moment, but in the Great Debaters, he was Ooh, yeah laying a, it down to, yeah. to the boy when mm -hmm. he was asked trying to give him, you know, his, his I have to watch the movie again. I know, me too, because that was one of, like, the, the, maybe the second best slap I've ever seen in cinema history <laughs> was the one that Journey gave, oh boy. But anyway, <laughs> um, he was like, when he was talking about how they brought in Willie Lynch to mm -hmm. figure out how to do this, and he was like, you, um, what was it? You, Keep the body, you take the mind. Yeah, oh, I remember that part. Keep yeah, the body, take, take the, the mind. mind. Yeah. And so that's a very valid thing. There's a lot of distractions to make you feel like there's nothing going on. Mm -hmm. So, and the internet is a fantastic tool, but it's also a tool by, used by anyone. Anyone. Everyone has that power. So, so it's not just like... Um, is a lot of distractions, physical. They, they, it's like they translate the physical oppressions now to mental oppressions for you. So you don't want to read anymore because you told them won't get you anywhere because it's too hard because the the the, the to get to your library is too far away for you yeah. because they shut down the, your bus. <laughs> it starts running every hour in this certain demographic, which means that you can't get to the library to understand how to understand the world that happens in the library you know it's just it's just a little stuff it's not it, it's not little at all but i see what you're saying it's it's the pebbles in your shoe that makes you stop it. yeah not like the big rock in the road so. gotcha that's such a good comparison too do you think the movement is here to stay
or has it left or what do you think about I don't think going ever... has it even like has it affected you not like do you feel it I mean like has it has it actually it's opened my awareness like you know my third eye chakra all of that it really opened me up to the understanding that it's a real thing not that I did not you know because I've never I've experienced it on some level living in New Orleans uh you know, you would meet those people. There was always this group of people that were, you know, kind of just like they had something to say. Uh, but now it's opened my understanding of it more as even if I don't know people that have that kind of reaction, there are people with that mentality that I talk to. And that's what's been shocking me. Because if I have, this doesn't relate to me. One of my friends, she uh, was going out with this black guy. And uh, she, you know, ooh, I like them. And she just really liked them. And they were, they were real cool. And it, it, was, it was good. Uh, but she told her parents. And her parents, her dad said, uh, we like to keep it in the family. And you can't see him. And they opposed her, like, consistently. So she couldn't bring him over. And these were Christians. Not that, I mean, I'm not saying Christians, but, you know. Yeah. These were people who I met that I felt had a sense of love. And, you know, oh, <laughs> yeah, just the yeah, yeah, yeah. And... When, really like her Negro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so Angela oh said her name, but you know Angela, my girl, anyway. Yeah, you Angela. know Angela. <laughs> I know Angela. <laughs> Angela, uh, she, she was like, her mom, and she's like, oh, well, it's not that. He's, I mean, we all, you know, but her, her mom wasn't so much against it as her dad. Her dad was just so stern on it. And, and this is recently? This was recently. Wow. And, and so the question would be, how does she respond? She responded. And you can kind of glaze. Yeah. You can do a general okay. if you need to. I'm going to do a general. <laughs> okay. Well, meaning, did she side with the parents? Did she hide him? Did she, she did not side with the parents. He's fine. He's coming into the house. <laughs> get what you say. We're eloping. <laughs> My love for him. Or was it? You know, like, no, it was like. That's what they think, but I don't see what's wrong with it. Mm-hmm. So she didn't side with him, but um, she she really opposed it. Actually, she was like, "I'm not going to accept it. I'm not. They're not going to tell me what I can't do." Mm-hmm. But um, um, I love being here in Minneapolis and Minnesota, but I have heard the word "colored" used to describe colored folks <laughs> mm-hmm. more than I ever I'm have, even when I lived down south. Um, and it's all really? very, oh yeah, just, just recently, um, at the studio. Someone, someone called you color? Someone was, t- was describing a man and <laughs> we were like, oh, what do you like about these pictures? And she said, oh, there is the one with the color gentleman. Where is he at? And, she, and it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> in, in January, 2015. <laughs> <laughs> and and she just pointed to the picture like yeah that's him I love his face the expressions and I'm sitting here looking at the picture like okay she said color but she didn't she's not stopping at color she didn't look at me you know sometimes people say color like when they're like trying to describe you right mm-hmm. and it's like oh um she, well, what does she look like well she had dreads yeah, yeah. and um she, she was wearing a black coat when i'm the only black person in the room and that would be the <laughs> easiest way to describe me it's like what well she know she's so and they kind of like look at you to see if it's okay she literally was just like oh the color gentleman yeah oh, oh someone at, at the bar i used to work at she was like i was like oh she's like oh this guy's cute i was like who and he was like, she said, the color one over there. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> to look to see if she knew what happened just now. She had no clue. She, had no, she didn't realize. Genuinely she yeah. had no clue. <laughs> and that is what has really opened my eyes and stopped making it be such a hard line. Either you know or you don't know. Because that's what's so good about this system, dude. They can go, they hold lives <laughs> yeah. without even seeing your face. Of what a black person looks like, person of color, African American, whatever you want to be called. Come back here. <laughs> she hit me on you two know? levels, though. And I'm so, like... um, <laughs> the system works. People are saying the system is broken. The system works. You are literally working against a people who do not know that this is a problem. Who look <laughs> at 
the the men and the, and Oscar Grant, all the all these mm. these young the mm. men. There's like just Oscars this past year alone, like twenty over twenty three that we can name that were killed by police. And it brought, and yeah. <clears throat> don't see that it is that it's don't see it don't yeah. see it. There's always a reason why. That's how good the yeah, system is. The system because there are the gatekeepers, gatekeepers. So they yeah. There's always a reason why. That tripped me out. The color one. The color one. Why can't you just say black? Why does it? Then I'm also like, well, why does it matter? Is it even worth taking the time to school? She didn't mean any harm. She didn't. She did it not mean yeah. any harm. If yeah. I would have made it. This is quite, and this is how also how it works on the flip side. If I would have said something, it 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 closes the conversation down, yeah. and and oftentimes it's put back on me. Well, I didn't mean like that. <laughs> I, I just was describing. I, oh, I didn't. I didn't know. Like why? And and, and, and it's gone. Yeah, it's you know. Gone, yeah. So. Um, wow. Ooh, goodness. Yeah. It's a trip. It's, it's a, a trip. trip because, this whole yeah. the. Saying Black Lives Matter is needs to be said because apparently it wasn't known. Everybody knows Ooh, everybody lives. Yeah. Matter. Ooh, wait. It, Stop. Say it again. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's just like that's that's such an important thing to say. Say it again. All this stuff becoming just coming. Right, well, I was, well, um, black, lives black lives matter. matter. We know that all lives matter. We're aware of that, but yeah, apparently, the only why it's being said? Yeah, it's is because said, apparently it is not known. It's not known that black lives matter. Why do we have? Why do we have to say that? The point is that okay. we are being made to say it. Yeah. Because <laughs> and, and because of a very simple fact that. The coverage, the attention, the mm -hmm. emotional investment, the care, the amount of excuses that are given are entirely mm -hmm. just factually different and oftentimes much less yeah. than for a white person <laughs> or a uh, person of the non-global majority. You can get a story for... A full news cycle, like like in a week, <laughs> about some kid, some and not, and it all matters. Yeah. But her life is made to matter in your life. All of a sudden, she's everywhere, absolutely mm -hmm. everywhere. And I can I can pretty much say pretty safely <laughs> that she will be white. The ones that you remember, yeah, they're white. They're white. But white folks aren't the only ones that get taken and hurt. But <laughs> it's shown that they do not matter. It's less. It's like it matters too. Yeah. Two. <laughs> so it's it's but again the system works. So um but the, but that's why people are saying black lives matter. It's not because you don't. It's like yeah, it's like it's, that whole yeah. concept of the women thing, like, well, you can't say another woman is beautiful because you're less beautiful. Like <laughs> that got to do with you. That ain't got shit to do with me. Yeah. Or you know, so um I think that's an important part because people are like every time someone says black lives matter it's all lives matter yeah that's the, why we got to say it. just the very point that you're sweeping it under yeah, the rug the, yeah the fact yeah Th that again <laughs> is the is, that's it's, the point it's that's so why we're good it just i'm just like mm. <laughs> god it's coming and going dude they do so the black it's movement yeah it ain't going nowhere and for as long as and this is for also i want to speak on behalf of native americans uh you know, just what they suffered. It's 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 that sense of oppression. It's all of those that have been oppressed by the white man. And this is you know when people say it's like, but not. I mean, black people. Are, but from a systemic point of view, the white man has been the oppressor mm -hmm. to people of color. So whether it's the Native Americans or, the, or black people are, um, you know, from a systemic perspective. But mm -hmm. and it's not. <clears throat> I think too that that concept isn't updated as well. The concept of the white man, because yeah. back then, um, it was very much like the white man is a devil, and you had like the Bull Connors and the and the and the and the, uh, the uh, what you call it? Black the, uh, No, um, Alabama's mayor, um, governor. You had those those white devils to put to a face. Like, this is the white man that's doing it, you know, uh, the the Hoovers and stuff, but. Mm -hmm. 
um, we talk, and now a white man is updated to the very fact that most of the people, or the people that benefit and keep the system going, whether consciously or unconsciously, are white men. Men, yeah. That it has nothing to do with, you know, on the soul level, even though mm-hmm. there is a soul level with 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 this conversation, but. Um, it ain't just about that. Don't. It ain't just about the race car. It's just about the very literal facts. The people that mm-hmm. are in control of this and that we have to go up against very literally are always white men. White men. The, the white people men. who we have to go against. Yeah, that's like you said. So, and it's the concept we can call it. And then also, too, <laughs> understand that black and white only exists in a racial structure. In race. <laughs> so we can say the white man because we are talking about race. So if it is a white man yeah. that fits into the concept of whiteness and the racial structure, then we are talking about the white man. We are talking about the black man, the native or, or engine or whatever they may be called. I say any impoverished person. Yeah. Because there are, oh no, because even, no, I can't say that. You can't say that? I can't say that. Um, I think um, on a day-to-day level, it's very important, but um, to always be like, to, to, to know your culture, to always own your culture, to always find love in it, because that is your um, base. That's the center, yeah. That's your center. That's your center language, you know? That's your comfort. Um but I think another thing that's thrown in too that wasn't happening so much in the '60s is more of a. Um, I'm going to say energetic evolution. Mm-hmm. You can read it as spiritual evolution, but that tends to make people be like, oh, "Hey, me." <laughs> but you know, let things feel differently now. Knowledge is different now. Just things are things yeah, are things different. Are different. Things are more global. You know, it, you don't. We don't feel. Well, honestly, most people feel more alone nowadays, but mm-hmm. you yeah. don't have to feel alone. If I really wanted to talk to someone, and I'll show you right now, I can look at them, and it's no problem. I can talk about the same thing. So that distorts the concept of the movement now yeah, because yeah. it's <clears throat> not so much, you can't easily pinpoint these are black folks, yeah. you know, or these are the only people that are hurt by it because, you know, the same folks that were, um, oh man, who's the one that got shot in, uh, oh. People from all over the world were rallying once they heard about these black men that were shot. Mm -hmm. And the same thing happened in these other faraway lands from here. We can join in the struggle together across oceans now. So that makes it harder to rally a person to say that this is the issue when you can also just see that this is also an issue too. This is an issue. This is an issue. And and you can all this shit and eventually you just kind of sit there and be like, well, I'm just talking about it. Yeah. And so it's the it's harder to have the the feeling of what a movement used to be, mm-hmm. but um, folks are waking up. Folks are waking up. Folks are waking up. And Twitter has been a revolutionary uh, tool. Twitter has kind of looked like to me as ships. You know how back then they were sending letters and all of that. Now we're we have the access with just the click to tell somebody something, and that's what's been stirring up the engagement. Is that now online Twitter being one of the active internet presences mm-hmm. you can just just see it you can talk about it mm-hmm. whereas before there are people who's like oh i didn't know that happened like there are people who are unaware of the actual actions of racism. Or you have to wait for a newspaper yeah you know, to like, come around oh. and when you read it it's like about it. Well, you can hear like when all of these that mm-hmm. was another thing too when all of these um these these murders happened yeah, you had the media's version of it and the media's view, but you also had the dude on this side of the street that had his camera, yeah. and the dude on this side of the street that had his video mm-hmm. going, and all of this. So it, mm-hmm. may, it, it, it it's it's fun. It kind of yeah. it levels the playing field a little bit, and that and it can happen in a split second, and and so um, um, it'll be interesting to see how the people that used to control the view. <laughs> No Respond, yeah, mm-hmm. but um, I think that that's that's the great part also about information, being mm-hmm. able to share information at yeah. like, 
this. Yeah, like that. You know? Because, uh... With it, it's like you said, people are waking up, I think, because yeah. of that. People waking up. It's not as... Uh, I guess it just was so far from people. They didn't understand it on the level of, you know, I don't know. People just, they're hearing it now, and it's more accurate. They can actually see it with their own eyes. Mm -hmm. It's much easier to see something now, and which makes it much easier for people to uh, believe it, um, or at the very least have some kind of action toward it. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was, yeah. No, that's that's the point. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> so, um, but that's that's how I felt. Like the black movement, this movement, this is has been an ongoing, and it will. It's, it's for the, it's for the benefit. How am I saying it? The black movement that we have right now, it's not going away. It's going to continually be here until it's realized that we matter, that we're not just what they made us to be or what what they wanted us to be, what they interjected. We're not all of that. We're more than that. We're people. Mm -hmm. We have individual expression and we're going to be what we are without oppression. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can only uh, push on so, for so long. Yeah. You know. So it just, that's what's happening now. People are just tired of it. The attention span is a lot shorter, though. A lot of these True. movements don't, um, not movements, I shouldn't say that, but um, the heart, the effort, the enthusiasm behind them seems to wane. It's going, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which I think is uh, another distortion that happens when you're able to just like talk about it. It's like, whew, yeah, I did something. I did something. <laughs> What's and next? it's like, and the, yeah, what's the next thing? And then something else usually pops up, and then... I, and then, yeah, and that's the and justification. It, you know, you it's see like, the Twitter global light up of something that happens, and then it's like, okay, I collectively feel like I did something. <laughs> what's next? What's next? And, that's, and then that's something probably, usually yeah. is and there, something and, is, and so you can't, it's nothing, there's always something else coming mm -hmm. along. So but it's still, it's not you really engaging in the act if you have to have a collective everybody come together like as long as you black there's gonna be a movement as long as you indian there's going to be the the powwows happening mm -hmm. in the in the in the in the, in, in the cultural centers happening where they um go and talk to city council about things as, mm -hmm. as long as you have any kind of oppressed people there's going to be a there's movement be against a movement it against it that's the answer so um i hope that i hope that answered your question i know we went a lot of different places but uh that's the uh it's a system, so it's like it there. It's like when I think of a system, I think of a machine. Even though that's not the only kind of system, but if you think of like this MacBook, we're recording this video. There's so much going on in that thing. It's so many screws and so many prisms, so many cogs that's running it. Mm -hmm. So we can't just look at it as okay. It's just a keyboard. The keyboard's not working. Mm -hmm. It's not just the keyboard. It's mm -hmm. other things that the system is understanding it, and so or get stuck in a pretty box <clears throat> that it comes in. Either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and forget that all this shit's going on behind it to make you just focus on that part of it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so that's what we. Uh, <laughs> that's what we tried to handle. I mean, that's why we kind of went a lot of different places because it's a system and with systems. There's just like a lot of different things going on with it. But thanks for the question. Mm -hmm. If you all have any other uh, topics you would like for us to discuss, roll them on me. <laughs> really <laughs> so thanks for watching it's awful love